2, verse 11, coming from the King James Version of the Hebrew Bible from the New Testament, the uh, writings of the Apostles, and this is what they recorded from the words of Jesus Christ, as well as the rest of the story. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. It is a known fact that African-American lineage can be traced back to the seed of Abraham from the tribe of Judah, and our heritage can be found in the Torah, which are the five books of Moses, the Tanakh, the writings of the prophets. We are the modern-day lost sheep that scatter among the nations today, fulfilling Bible prophecy. And the second coming of Christ is only talking to Luke 2 and verse 11. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. This video goes out to Brother Polite. Many of you may be, um, excuse me, aware of a situation that's going on with him online. Many of his fans have posted videos regarding the situation and, and have drawn their own conclusion. Well, well, like I said, I don't feed into the malicious gossip because what our people don't know uh, or see what goes on behind the scene. And most of what you see is public manipulation. So. I'm just here to bring comfort to the situation and edify him, hopefully that he has a chance to view uh, some of the videos that are dedicated to him. Regardless of what he has done, he still uh, is our brother and he belongs to the seed of Abraham and from the tribe of Judah, no matter how he ever, he, however he chooses to define himself, he still has a chance to return back to uh, the Most High and uh, learn his Hebrew heritage and embrace his culture and begin to bring knowledge and salvation to his people again. So Luke 2 and verse 11 is a very popular verse, Brother Polite, and in our modern day churches they take it out of its context. It was only talking to your ancestors, the Jews that were on the scene at that time. According to uh, 1 Kings 11 and verse 36, for unto his son will I leave him one tribe, so that my servant David may always have a light before me at Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen me to put my name there. So he left one tribe of people when he split the kingdom of Israel. When you go back and read the uh, Tanakh, Israel is no longer a one nation, it's two nations. And he left the tribe of Judah there, and as well as his name there. So that city, Israel, belongs to the Most High. And he's going to return right back to the same place where he was born, crucified, and resurrected. And he was only talking to the tribe of Judah. He was only sent to them. They were known as the lost sheep, according to Matthew 15, verse 24. And he answered and said, For I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And the elders at that time didn't take care of his sheep, so uh, Christ came looking for them. They were wandering everywhere. They were uh, just all over the place. And um, Christ condemned the elders when he got to Jerusalem, and he went and went and took care of his sheep. They were the ones who witnessed him and received the um, gospel that he was proclaiming throughout Galilee. Matthew 4 and verse 17 says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went teaching and preaching in their synagogues. And it's very important, Brother Polite, that you understand that Luke 2 and verse 11 still talks to our people as well as you today, whether you choose to believe it or not. Shalom, my brother.